Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, welcome to our uh, today's uh, session uh, when we are going to talk uh, about uh, uh, momentum studies uh, in, in continuation of our uh, previous classes where we covered uh, uh, various uh, technical indicators and uh, patterns. Uh, today we are just going to improve the picture that we got already by some uh, uh, extra uh, tools that could be very useful uh, uh, when traders uh, want to make sure about the future market movements to get as much as possible information uh, uh, before they make their decision and uh, recognizing trend the strength of the trend the length of the trend uh, are the key points uh, for each trader so more information we have uh, more likely we are going to be profitable uh, as a final result so today we are going to talk about uh, momentum uh, indicators uh, also very important uh, part in technical analysis and very popular uh, uh, tools that are uh, used by uh, most of uh, traders uh, as a uh, addition to existing uh, uh, setup of uh, trading indicators that we saw in our charts uh, uh, in the previous uh, classes so uh, more information we have uh, more likely that we are going to have uh, uh, proper information and uh, uh, will uh, have uh, uh, easier way to uh, make our final trading decision. Uh, what is uh, momentum? Basically, it's a pace of uh, certain movements. Uh, the balls that you see in the screen are the typical uh, uh, momentum uh, sample when the, the last one hits the middle ones and the moves momentum to the, the last on the opposite side and they keep moving each other as the balls hit. We can uh, see the momentum also, let's say, on a swing. If you sit on swing and someone keeps pushing you stronger and stronger, means that your momentum is increasing, which could uh, easily result in the full turn uh, in the uh, swing. Of course, don't do it because it's uh, dangerous. Uh, and if that person stops pushing uh, or you stop moving in the uh, swing, it's going to uh, steadily lose the momentum until it uh, eventually stops. The similar thing could be seen, let's say, in the cars. If the car is uh, moving, uh, the engine is uh, giving it uh, strong momentum for moving uh, further. If the car hits, uh, let's say, uh, some obstacle, that momentum uh, will be lost instantly. Or if there is something obstacle like flat tire or uh, whatever, uh, that could reduce the momentum. And this is actually what we are using a very similar uh, uh, way in the technical analysis. Uh, when we estimate by using momentum indicators, we estimate the pace of that movement uh, as well as uh, uh, length and the strength of this. Uh, whether is it uh, losing power, is losing momentum, uh, is it going to stop it uh, in the short period of time, is it going to reverse? So these momentum indicators are uh, complementing uh, existing uh, indicators that we already uh, learned about and is giving us a fine tuning of the uh, final picture uh, when we need to decide whether trend is up or down and whether we are going to buy or sell or stay aside or eventually take profit. So there are plenty of uh, signals that are given uh, by these indicators and uh, they are quite uh, useful. So let's start with the uh, with the main, uh, the first one, which is a momentum indicator. As I said, it measures the, pre the price changes, changes uh, uh, during the given uh, time span. So if we choose, let's say, 10 or 14 days, it, it's going to uh, uh, measure the, uh, the rate of raise or fall basically the speed or pace or velocity of uh, that move for a given financial instrument. So it indicates uh, the strength or weakness of the uh, price trend during the given period of time. So we can uh, estimate uh, how strong is that move, uh, how fast is that move, is it going to continue or it's going to uh, lose the breadth uh, or eventually reverse. So uh, market momentum uh, is uh, measured uh, by continually uh, taking uh, the price differences uh, for a fixed fixed uh, time interval. Uh, what does it mean? It's, it is an oscillator that measures the change of price over a given or chosen period of time. So it compares where the current price is in relation to where the price was in the past. 
So how do we calculate? We take the uh, chosen the period of time and then the subtract the closing price of the first day. So if we take uh, 14 days uh, moving average, uh, we'll take the closing price of the first day of that uh, uh, period uh, and subtract it from the last uh, closing price. So we have formula which gives us M momentum is uh, V which means the last closing price uh, minus V uh, X. In our case, it will be V14. So closing price of the first uh, uh, day of the period, uh, in our case, 14 days period. So we have a sample uh, for 14 day momentum. Uh, we have the V uh, minus V14 for the uh, 14 period uh, gives us uh, a value of the momentum for 14 day uh, period of uh, time. Uh, this uh, will create uh, basically the momentum line and this will be in, in our case 14 day uh, momentum uh, and uh, it uh, basically means that if the current price is uh, higher than the price in the past the momentum line will be indicator indicator will indicate a positive uh, tone and the line will be uh, moving upwards uh, and uh, vice versa if the current price is lower than the closing price of the first day of the uh, chosen period of time then the uh, indication uh, will be for a negative momentum and uh, most likely the momentum uh, line uh, will be moving uh, uh, lower turning south so we have a, a sample here pictures how it looks on the chart later we are going uh, to go to the live chart and see how the indicator uh, works so 14 day uh, 14 day momentum on the daily chart uh, shows uh, this is for the WTI crude oil uh, sample and is the the most recent one from today so it it shows that uh, uh, this recovery leg uh, has uh, lost the strength. Uh, we can also see the uh, bearish divergence, uh, the subject that we covered in previous uh, two classes, uh, when uh, the price continues to move in one direction, while the uh, indicator is in the, uh, pointing lower and already uh, peaked. Uh, uh, and the next uh, the next high was lower than the previous while the price uh, continued to trend higher and they posted new higher high momentum indicates that uh, this rally has uh, uh, lost uh, the power lost momentum and uh, very likely it may end up in the deeper correction in this case uh, we still uh, we will need to uh, consult the other indicators uh, to give us more accurate information but momentum 14 day momentum in this case signals us that uh, the uptrend is running out of uh, uh, so-called bullish momentum uh, because it works uh, uh, above or below the 100 uh, uh, center line which is here and basically indicates uh, up or down we are going to cover this soon so 14 days moving average indicates that uh, uptrend is uh, the momentum is weakening and uh, we can expect some uh, corrective action it might end here uh, because the momentum is still positive in the positive territory above the center line the 100 center line uh, but it may extend uh, further down lower and before uh, more likely uh, existing bulls uh, recover. Now, uh, the next one is 21-day uh, uh, momentum, uh, which shows a different picture. Uh, now we have a steady ascend and a very steep ascend uh, of the momentum for 21 period, in this case 21 day, uh, suggesting that uh, this move is just a minor uh, consolidation and momentum is still very strong and for now indicates that the price may go further up so we have uh, indication on the larger period of time what it uh, brings us uh, that uh, 14 days is uh, more uh, smooth and uh, shows uh, bigger oscillations of the indicator suggests that uh, the instrument uh, financial instrument might undergo corrective consolidative uh, action before it continues its initial and original uptrend uh, until the, we uh, get the signal that this uptrend is over. So far, we don't have such a signal. So we still consider it as a valid uptrend. And a uh, uh, larger uh, time frame shows uh, uh, that <clears throat> this uptrend is still unobstructed. Momentum is very strong and uh, signals that uh, uh, the <clears throat> instrument is going likely going to extend its uh, uptrend after uh, uh, so far it looks like a brief uh, consolidation momentum uh, could uh, be applied uh, in any uh, period of uh, time 
and as I said, uh, a shorter time period gives us a more sensitive line uh, with more uh, uh, frequent uh, oscillations, uh, wider oscillations. Uh, and uh, let's take a look how it is uh, on the live chart. So we're going to take a look of the momentum oscillator on the hourly chart and daily chart. We're talking about uh, 21 uh, the momentum uh, or uh, let's uh, change it to 14 day uh, which is going to be uh, more smooth uh, uh, so uh, we have 14 day momentum on the hourly chart we can see that uh, it fluctuates a lot it's uh, volatile it has uh, wide oscillations so that's what i said uh, at the beginning uh, uh, the lower uh, narrower time frame uh, gives us uh, more frequent uh, oscillations uh, while if we uh, let's say if we take it on the on the hourly chart on the daily chart uh, again it has uh, uh, much wider oscillations uh, compared to the uh, compared to the larger period of time in our case it was uh, 21 uh, period 21 day uh, momentum which has uh, more smoothed uh, uh, lines uh, with the less volatile oscillations you can see uh, the differences so uh, these are the differences uh, with the uh, time frames uh, or uh, time size that is used uh, for the indicator in any case it could be used uh, for any period and uh, could be very helpful of course the traders uh, according to their skills and according to their uh, type uh, of trader will be using it accordingly so someone who is a trader will likely opt for a uh, a smaller period of time which give which will give a more uh, uh, more fluctuate, uh, fluctuations in the momentum it will it will give a, a clearer picture what's going on in the near term action while uh, those who are a longer term traders uh, would likely go for a, a larger time frames and a larger period of time for the indicator that will help them to maintain the, their uh, longer term positions and uh, see uh, indication when that uh, longer term uh, trend is uh, likely going to and uh, first will start the running of uh, uh, power of steam and then uh, eventually it will uh, uh, stall and reverse so uh, it will give uh, plenty of time to the trader to <clears throat> act accordingly and uh, uh, cover that uh, position uh, now we are coming again to describe how it works uh, as i said it measures the rate of ascent of descent so the rate of the speed how strong how fast is that speed and how long is going to last uh, momentum uh, uh, works uh, goes along with the price and uh, if the price is in uptrend uh, momentum line uh, is also going to move higher and if it moves above uh, zero which is the center line uh, and continues to ascend it means that the uptrend is accelerating and gaining momentum in this case it gaining bullish momentum you can see in a number of uh, technical analysis reports that uh, analysts will uh, say uh, euro is uh, gaining bearish momentum uh, on daily chart meaning that that uh, existing trend is gaining the pace uh, no matter in which direction now opposite uh, scenario if the ascending momentum begins begins to flatten uh, meaning uh, starts running out of uh, steam starts turning sideways uh, uh, means that uh, uh, rally uh, made uh, gains made by the latest uh, closing are at the same uh, the level of gains is the same as gains of the uh, chosen period uh, earlier so if we have uh, 14 days uh, moving average uh, uh, it signals that uh, the last closing is at the same level like the first closing if the indicator momentum indicator uh, starts to turn uh, sideways mode uh, it's uh, the price uh, will likely continue to advance uh, after momentum turns uh, in the neutral mode but uh, will uh, start uh, running uh, running out of uh, steam and in the it, it will eventually uh, stall now momentum will indicate uh, uh, when the momentum line uh, <coughs> uh, turns uh, lower starts to descend and uh, heads towards zero line 
uh, the uptrend will be still in force but uh, losing momentum so it's a good indication indication for trader that uh, uh, that uh, trend is uh, running out of uh, power running out of steam and uh, most likely is going to stall at certain point uh, very soon so this is indication for trader to be very careful uh, some of the traders uh, would liquidate their uh, long uh, take uh, a reasonable profit and the wait for the next opportunity to jump in the market so whether uh, extension of the existing uptrend or uh, reversal uh, so shorting the uh, position uh, while uh, the momentum uh, when it cr crosses uh, below the center line below the zero line um, it means uh, that the latest close is under the first close uh, of the chosen period of uh, time <clears throat> and this is indication that uh, downtrend is uh, starting so uh, as momentum uh, uh, line continues to fall further uh, the downtrend is gaining momentum and it's becoming bearish momentum so we have the first uh, the uptrend uh, the stall of the momentum and then uh, uh, brief extension of the of the existing uptrend uh, while the momentum is already uh, turning lower and uh, this is indication that uh, uh, something is uh, uh, happening uh, with the, with the uh, uh, existing bulls and uh, very very likely that they're uh, going to run out of steam and the uh, final phase is the uh, loss of uh, uh, bearish uh, power uh, when the momentum uh, turns below its uh, zero line and indicates uh, that uh, fresh downtrend is uh, uh, developing so uh, let's take a look how it is uh, on the chart so the uptrend uh, was in force uh, the price action was uh, moving higher then we had the uh, momentum that peaked at certain point uh, along with the uh, price action and the next uh, high was lower than the previous one so it already indicated that something is uh, wrong uh, with this move while the uh, price action uh, of the instrument continued to move higher so we had the uh, high and higher high while uh, momentum showed the high and the lower high so momentum indicates that uh, there is something now this doesn't mean that the trend has reversed or it's reversing it gives us a signal that the trend has lost part of its momentum uh, lost the uh, speed, lost the velocity, and uh, may uh, spend some time in consolidative corrective action. So, uh, when the momentum now momentum turned uh, uh, south and descends uh, towards the zero line, which is our uh, uh, break point, uh, <clears throat> uh, bulls are still in force. Uh, the subtrend is still uh, intact, uh, but uh, losing momentum. So, it gives us indication that uh, the strength of the uh, uptrend is not uh, uh, anymore as it was uh, uh, earlier so we have initial signal that something is happening uh, not necessarily that again I will say that means it will be reversal but it may signal a, a break in the uptrend and the price may consolidate now if this uh, <clears throat> momentum line stays above the zero line which is our breakpoint uh, then we'll uh, have uh, and turn starts to turn higher and eventually breaks above its uh, seven days moving average uh, again uh, recall the uh, previous uh, class uh, with the moving averages uh, one of the previous classes uh, it works on the same principles uh, we have the uh, zero line as the main indication uptrend downtrend and the crossing uh, uh, below the below or above its uh, moving average that uh, gives us uh, additional signal so uh, we had initial signal uh, top and the lower top uh, bear cross with the seven days moving average and we are looking for the center line the zero line if the indicator doesn't break lower and reverses uh, up again that means that uh, this uptrend uh, remains in force and is likely going to continue once the consolidation is over since the uptrend lasted uh, for approximately uh, three and a half weeks uh, uh, it's uh, still uh, possible that may extend the higher especially that that we had uh, three weeks in a row with the very strong uh, gains of course in this case we will be looking for uh, more information uh, and consulting uh, more indicators uh, in order to 
uh, make a final decision uh, and to have a more clear picture whether this is end of the uptrend or it's just a, a correction. Now, we'll go back to uh, lessons that uh, we already passed and uh, we'll see uh, what is the configuration of our moving averages. Uh, we can say it's mixed because uh, 30 and 20 days uh, uh, made the bull cross, which is positive signal. 55 days uh, moving average is turning sideways and it kept uh, uh, the downside protected for in past two sessions and very likely if the price action remains within this range uh, we'll keep the session we'll keep the we'll keep it limited for the third straight day now on the upper side we have 100 and uh, uh, 200 days moving averages still descending and uh, in the bearish setup uh, that uh, made the bear cross uh, previously so uh, the picture is mixed regarding uh, overall it's mixed regarding uh, moving averages uh, uh, momentum has set it's pointing lower MACD one from our previous uh, session is flat in this case uh, and it's still in the positive territory so we have sort of mixed picture which works in favor of our initial uh, idea that this could be consolidation before the market starts uh, moving higher again in extension of this uptrend uh, especially that uh, uh, <clears throat> a larger time frame indicator uh, uh, <coughs> presented by 21 day moving average is uh, still in the steep uptrend and uh, indicates <coughs> that this could be just a breather before the bulls uh, continue so we have uh, a quite uh, uh, clear picture that uh, so far there is no big danger for our lungs and uh, we can either take uh, profit and wait for a better buying opportunity or simply keep the position. This depends on the trader, uh, on uh, how aggressive is the trader or how conservative is the trader. So uh, personally, as conservative trader, I would uh, take profit and wait uh, for the next buying opportunity. It's better to uh, book your profits rather than to keep it uh, uh, floating because uh, you may risk uh, uh, some losses as well as uh, profits, extra profits, but uh, uh, we try to uh, bring our risk to the minimum and uh, to make the, pos the safest possible uh, trading uh, to protect our funds in the trading account. Uh, next uh, thing, uh, what uh, we will be talking about uh, uh, will be uh, uh, again a few things about uh, momentum. Uh, this is oscillator, so it oscillates uh, uh, above and below its center line, so called zero line and it's a leading indicator. What does this mean? We covered this in the previous uh, uh, classes, uh, meaning that uh, the, the momentum line is always step ahead of the price movement. So it gives us indication before the price uh, uh, turns in a certain direction and uh, we have a good sample uh, on our chart. So we're going to uh, take a look uh, uh, on the chart, so let me just uh, switch the screen again to our live chart and uh, show you how it works. Uh, so we will choose again uh, 14 days moving average. So the price action bottomed at uh, this level here uh, along with the <clears throat> with the momentum and so in this case uh, there was a step ahead very small step and the um, price started uh, moving higher here we have a very good signal a uh, very good sample how it works uh, as the market peaked at one point uh, momentum peaked but uh, the next uh, high of the market uh, marks a lower high of momentum so we have uh, this what we spoke about previously a bearish divergence this is also a good signal that something is developing on the lower time frame it will signal us that uh, the price action is running out of steam and may correct before it resumes higher as uh, we already spoke about this uh, the existing uptrend is still alive and still uh, keeping focus at the upside so uh, we are looking for corrective action but uh, as i wanted to present you uh, that uh, uh, it's a leading indicator and shows uh, uh, shows the move uh, before uh, the indicator reacts before the market uh, the price reacts so uh, back to the hourly chart uh, we also have uh, momentum peaking uh, here while the price is still far away from the highest level 
when the price uh, hit the highest, the uh, momentum was already lower, and then the price uh, reacted, moved uh, significantly lower, uh, and the momentum followed, uh, bottomed here. Now, we had the uh, sort of sideways movements. Uh, this is the consolidation that we saw on the daily chart. So, momentum is still positive on the hourly chart, 14-day momentum, 14 uh, period momentum is positive. Uh, so, suggesting that uh, uh, correction might be over and uh, uh, it may ex extend uh, higher. So, uh, momentum uh, levels off uh, while the trend is still in force. Let's uh, uh, go to our uh, facts uh, that we uh, talked about uh, previously. Uh, momentum levels off while the price existing is still in force. So, meaning that momentum uh, turns uh, sideways mode while the move is still uh, up or down, still uh, alive. And this is indication of a possible uh, stall of the trend, the uh, possible end of that uh, uh, leg. And uh, uh, momentum reverses from its initial direction as the price starts to level off. So the price starts uh, in the sideways mode while the momentum is already reversing. So let's say if we had an uptrend, the uh, uh, momentum would be already <clears throat> moving higher, uh, moving lower while the <coughs> price action is still uh, heading uh, up. Our next uh, indicator that uh, we'll be talking today is the stochastic oscillator. We have uh, uh, various, uh, uh, basically we're talking about three uh, momentum indicators that we are covering today. The first one was momentum. Stochastic oscillator is also in that uh, group. Uh, along again uh, becomes, uh, uh, is again it is uh, uh, oscillator as it oscillates between its uh, uh, control lines which are 20 and uh, 80 or 30 and 70 uh, uh, works uh, well applies on all time frames uh, and basically the main aim of the oscillator is to try to identify turning point of the existing trend of the certain financial instrument that we are analyzing. <coughs> so oscillator indicates uh, when the price is uh, too extended uh, uh, meaning too heavy on the top or, the, or at the bottom, uh, indicating uh, overbought and oversold conditions. This is, uh, um, you heard uh, most likely many times about this, and uh, uh, when you read the uh, comments uh, from technical analysts, you will uh, uh, hear many times that uh, Euro is overbought and uh, most likely is going to correct lower or would uh, reverse depending on the situation. So we have <coughs> quite good indication from the uh, from the uh, stochastic uh, oscillator. Uh, it gives us a signal that something is developing and uh, something uh, could happen uh, soon. So let's uh, take a look how it is uh, on the chart. So basically, as I said, it uh, moves uh, between uh, uh, two lines. In our case, it's 80 and 20. So uh, again, the same principles, uh, uh, the the line of indicator is uh, this one, uh, greenish bluish, and uh, we have its uh, uh, signal line uh, similar to MACD that we covered in the previous uh, uh, class. So we are working on the overbought, overbought and oversold uh, conditions, uh, reversals, uh, direction, and uh, crosses. Uh, in this case, we had the bear cross, uh, then we had the bull cross, then the bear cross again and the indicator is heading lower. Uh, uh, when the indicator comes out of the uh, zone which is uh, marked as overbought or oversold, in this case it was overbought, that's indication that uh, <clears throat> the market, uh, the price uh, action may follow and uh, uh, drop lower from its initial uh, levels. Uh, uh, we had a good indication again uh, uh, on uh, bearish divergence again on this indicator as the price continued uh, to move uh, higher while the stochastic uh, uh, made the high and the lower high while the price was uh, high and higher high so uh, diverging uh, indicator is diverging from the uh, price action suggesting that uh, something is developing and uh, we have we have to be careful in this case uh, and <clears throat> consult 
other indicators uh, for more accurate information uh, to see whether it's uh, uh, something uh, reversal is it a reversal or is just uh, consolidative or corrective action so uh, basically uh, oscillator tries to identify the turning point so whether that trend is going to reverse or it's going to uh, stay in in force after some uh, uh, brief uh, consolidative uh, corrective action again it works uh, well on all uh, time frames uh, and basically the uh, definition is the of the action of uh, stochastic indicator is that uh, uh, this indicator measures the distance between the uh, closing price and the range or previous range which includes uh, highest and the lowest uh, uh, points over a specified period of time and uh, it is uh, quite popular among uh, traders uh, and accurate uh, and it gives us uh, quite uh, accurate uh, signals uh, indications uh, for uh, entering the market uh, whether buying or selling depending on the market uh, condition here we have a, a formula which uh, gives us a, a calculation of this uh, uh, basically you have it in the trading platform so you don't need to be bothered this is just to understand the principles of work uh, so the uh, k uh, in percentage is the current uh, market uh, price of the uh, market rate of the currency pair uh, and it's equal to the uh, hundred times uh, the most recent closing price uh, uh, minus uh, uh, the low of the 14 previous uh, trading sessions if we are using uh, uh, 14 uh, period uh, uh, moving average and the highest price of the, uh, the same uh, uh, 14 day period so we have the calculation as I said you have it uh, already in the trading platform ready so it's just uh, uh, up to you to apply it on the chart and then the indicator will give you uh, quite uh, good information so uh, it works well on all time frames we can see the uh, as as i mentioned previously the lower time frame uh, gives us a more uh, uh, <clears throat> wider uh, oscillation of the indicator while uh, we choose when we choose the uh, higher time frame uh, the oscillation is uh, uh, smoother it does move it does oscillate but uh, volatility is uh, much lower than on the uh, lower time frames and uh, we can see how it works uh, how it gives a signal so in this case the indicator was heading lower entered the oversold territory reversed higher uh, crossed its uh, control line signal line and crossed above the border of the oversold uh, territory so this is double bullish signal here and uh, we can see how the market followed now this is again a, a leading indicator as it gave us indication we can see the indication was given here while the market was still uh, not in the stronger uh, move higher and then it accelerated higher when the indicator was already uh, over the halfway towards the upper uh, boundary uh, 80, uh, 80 line. So suggesting that uh, uh, we can uh, count on this and it's quite, as I said, accurate uh, buying or selling signal. So if we have entered the market uh, when indicator gave us signal, let's say slightly above, we could have uh, uh, gained a reasonable profit uh, on this uh, move higher. And now it's overbought, it turning uh, uh, sideways. So. Uh, it's time to simply come out indicator tells you uh, this is for the short uh, term traders 30 minute chart so indicator tells you uh, that uh, this move might be over or might uh, consolidate so it's time to take out your profit and uh, uh, wait for another opportunity if the indicator continues going higher which uh, happens uh, quite often uh, we can say in the uh, uh, our comments it's extremely overbought or extremely oversold but the indicator is still pointing higher it means that uh, the strength of the move is increasing and then in this case we need to see what the larger time frames uh, say uh, whether it's uh, uh, correct or it's just uh, uh, due to the current situation on that time frame so <clears throat> if we go to the daily chart we can see that uh, uh, indicator is pointing lower so the, our decision to come out of the uh, 
uh, take out to take our profits uh, was good on the 30 minute chart so we're waiting for the next opportunity we'll be looking whether the indicator will break uh, into overbought uh, territory and then generate proper signal on reversal or it will just reverse uh, on approach suggesting that this uh, uptrend is likely going to extend the further our uh, uh, last indicator for today is uh, so-called RSI uh, relative strength uh, index uh, it's also a momentum indicator that uh, magnitude the measures the magnitude of the recent uh, price uh, changes again it uh, oscillates between uh, its uh, uh, control or signal lines uh, that uh, mark the uh, borders of overbought and oversold uh, territory 30 and 70 and uh, is displayed uh, as that oscillator uh, moves uh, between uh, two extremes uh, and can have a reading from 0 to uh, 100 uh, with the 30 and 70 being uh, uh, as a signal line so a uh, quick look at the live chart to see how the indicator looks uh, uh, <clears throat> on the chart. We have 14 uh, periods uh, uh, RSI now. We are on the four hour chart. Uh, it's again uh, uh, oscillator that uh, uh, moves uh, with similar principles uh, to the previous one, uh, uh, stochastic. Uh, uh, the, the lines are a bit narrower, uh, borders of the overbought and oversold territory, but the principles are the same. Yeah. So we have the, uh, the indicator line, which is red and we have its uh, seven days moving average that uh, follows and it works on the uh, principles of uh, direction of the indicator and uh, crosses uh, bull or bear uh, with the seven days moving averages as well as overbought and oversold uh, territory uh, penetrations uh, that suggest that the market is uh, likely changing its direction again it is uh, <clears throat> Uh, leading indicator, uh, we can see the sample here, the, the indicator bottomed uh, here, while the price action was still heading uh, lower and the indicator started to trend higher, while the basically indicator, when the, the instrument, uh, financial instrument hit its lowest point, uh, the indicator left the higher low. So again, uh, we have a, a sample of uh, uh, bullish divergence in this case uh, uh, another important uh, and uh, useful uh, tool that can help us uh, uh, in predicting uh, uh, near future market movement so bullish uh, uh, divergence uh, when the indicator diverged from the uh, initial price action uh, much before then the in instrument itself uh, reacted so it gave us uh, indication uh, a couple of days before that uh, this downtrend uh, will likely change and uh, uh, will run out of steam soon so we had the initial indication uh, well ahead uh, the price uh, reversed higher so we had enough time to uh, estimate this to consult other indicators and uh, react accordingly uh, to uh, either cut our uh, shorts at the right time, so take the maximum profit and start uh, preparing a, a strategy for a trend reversal. In this case, it still looks like correction of this uh, larger downtrend, but uh, uh, it's important that uh, we came out of uh, our short position. In this case, as uh, RSI indicator showed us that uh, downtrend uh, ran out of steam and uh, most likely is going to turn higher so we had the information much uh, earlier than the price actually uh, moved uh, higher so we were uh, uh, able to prepare ourselves uh, uh, for the uh, for the proper action uh, accordingly uh, act, act accordingly to the according to the conditions of the market uh, again brief uh, uh, outlook uh, brief uh, look at the uh, in indicator itself uh, in the interpre is uh, its values it moves basically uh, with the between these two lines uh, 30 and 70 and any breach of 70 line uh, or going above uh, indicates that the uh, security is overbought so it's too heavy at the upside uh, and uh, most likely is preparing for trend reversal or corrective pullback uh, 
in the price action so we just saw it on the uh, live chart uh, how it works uh, so we had in, in uh, information indication in advance before the price action uh, turned uh, to the opposite direction we had the indication and the uh, uh, opposite side uh, if the RSI moves uh, below uh, 30 line which is a border of uh, oversold uh, territory indicates that it's uh, the instrument uh, financial instrument uh, is oversold uh, or uh, in undervalued uh, condition too heavy to the downside so uh, most likely uh, action in the near term will be a uh, change of that uh, existing trend so we'll have enough time again to uh, prepare ourselves uh, for uh, next step uh, which will be according to the uh, signals of the other uh, uh, financial of the other technical indicators. Uh